good. As every year we are going to Arrow. And as the years before, we have the DF50, the DF62 and the DF42 on display. And the special thing this year is that we have the EDA40 also on display. So if you want to see an electric aircraft which will be certified CS23, then you come to the diamond booth at number something. Okay, it's in, in Hall A4. And yeah, it's last year flying the 50 over. Oh, does the temperatures look? They look very good already. So we then do our run up. Okay, text light is off and parking brake is set and then we go to ground idle. Then we have checklist, parking brake is set, the just for breakers is upright, safety arms are fast. Sun is a stolen secure keeper, this stolen secure reader is closed, front door is closed. The warnings off, MFT, engine instruments, we are already checked that. Circuit breakers are all in. Uh, fuel bar is normal. Car flap is now open. Now we wait for the light until it's open. You should see on the wing how it's opening now. And open. Electric elevator trim is working. Set for takeoff. Rudder trim, we put it here on the right outside. A little bit here. Oh, it's perfect. Good. Flaps are takeoff. Left, right. Light flag trolls. Full down. Full up. Full left. Full right. We do the cooking. Left and right. Power lever is ground idle. And then we do the fading test. And then we do first uh, force B. Looks good, and now we do the tests. Fedic. First two lights, then ECUP fail light. Now comes the cycle. Number one, you see that the RPMs are dropping. Now ECUA, RPM goes up. Now the propeller goes to the course pitch, and therefore the RPM drops and goes back into fine pitch, and the RPM is rising a bit. That means we are ready to go. ECU test is done, and the rest is lineup procedure all good ready great okay let's go landing taxi fuel pump on spawn the pit door is still off flaps are take off brake is released car flap is open this looks good trim is checked Marlow is also ready excited for his second arrow Runway heading is checked and until the panel is checked, we start the timer and take off power. Take off power is set, engine instruments are checked, here we go. We have take off power set, the engine instruments are checked, we have airspeed alive. Two times, 50 cross. And lift the nose up, and we are flying. Positive rate, brake gear up. Target speed now is 80. And we start a shallow right turn. Then I stop the timer. I do speed check flips up, acceleration. And now we go into climb power, which is 90 in the 50. We do then a heading of 320. Heading mode, lever change, 100 knots, autopilot on. Starting a left turn, we change over to bin radar for the clearance. Since we are still uh, VFR now, we have to look outside. Then we do climb check, gear is up, flaps are up, fuel pump is off, climb power is set, car flap, we leave it open, alternate air is closed, landing, tech slide is off, aux power switch is off, and we are off. Now I do fly plan direct to Targas, that's checked, Targas here, we do the nav mode, GPS is green, now we are in the sync mode, so the heading box stays always in the front, I would say, we come back in the cruise, so see you later.
Automation 132635, Oscar Tango Whiskey, Grüße. München Radar, Servus, Diosko, Vico Tango Whiskey, maintaining flight level 100, inbound outload. Oscar Echo, Victor Tango Whiskey, hello, München Radar, identified. So, we are now over or talking to München Radar. And as you can uh, see, also let's hope here on the outside also, so. Um, weather is quite interesting now. Um, I would love to show you the outside camera, but I messed up. So, <laughs> no outside views again. Uh, also greetings to GoPro. This is why I'm switching to Insta360, uh, because the connections, they are, uh, yeah. You can never connect the camera after you turn it off or you don't even turn it off. The connection is just dying. But yeah, um, as you can see here, uh, some precipitation now in this area. And don't know if you heard it before, we had some, some it sounded like this, uh, but without the squelch. So that was some static noise on the, on the antennas which you can have when you fly in a, in, a, in a cloud and the aircraft is getting, how do you say, loaded up or if there is friction on the plane uh, usually happens when you fly near a thunderstorm yeah, headwind is significant now, 51 on the nose which is not nice otherwise, all good, we're flying here in 10,000 we have a temperature of minus 3 now, but no icing, which is good because this airplane got no de-ice uh, Nothing special until now, just that I messed up with the camera, this this is the special thing. And yeah, we're looking for an ILS on runway 24, chart is loading, so yeah. So our views have not, have not been great, so that's why I would say I'll come back in the descent. So see you later. So we have started our descent, I'm just waiting to capture the glide path. Uh, and it's just uh, almost 500 feet a minute descent only, very shallow. And now we contact Alps radar. Uh, I'm the Wiener, of course. Sorry. The path is white, and then it's captured. And the static noise you hear is still, still the static noise on the antennas. Yeah. So, yeah. Again. V-Path is captured. Alps radar, good day. This is Oscar Kovic, Tango Whisky, uh, passing 9,300, descending 8,000 in South Norway, Yankee 435, Evolution Lima. Oscar Kovic, Victor, Tango Whisky, Alps radar, the jet and the flight. Were you looking for another gear on ILS approach? I'll do the ILS approach, Oscar Whisky. As required, slanting data is 1080, next frequency. Learning data received altimeters are set 1014, 1014, passing 7440, 7420 now. Good. Top left FMS is set. Adjustment safety harness is fast. Flight controls, no interference. Emergency fuel pump is on. Fuel valve is normal. Gear warning. Light, four lights, and check gear. Park brake is released. Landing and taxi light yeah. is on. Rudder trim is required. And portable electric devices are gone. Next is final. So, I don't know if you see it on the camera. Probably not, but I have now the localizer in white in the back and here the glide slope in white in the back be behind the V path. So I can see that I'm below the glide slope and to intercept any localizer. Oscar, 
Alaska Tango Whiskey Fly heading 265, vectors to the ILS approach on way 24. Heading 265, vectors for the ILS 24, Oscar Tango Whiskey. So then we go. We turn off the fuel transfer now. So heading mode is engaged, 265 is set, and now we go to procedure, activate vector to final. Now look what's happening. So B path is now, of course, lost, and we're now approaching 6000. And localizer is here, glide slope is here. Oscar Tango Whiskey, descend 5000 feet, cleared ILS approach, runway 24, leave 5000 feet on the glide. Descending 5000, cleared for the ILS approach, runway 24, and we will leave 5000 on the glide. Oscar Echo Victor Tango Whiskey. Thank you, Oscar Tango Whiskey, report established. Call you established, Oscar Tango Whiskey. And now we have a beautiful continuous descent until landing. This is what we like. So now we experience a bit of rain again. So localizer is alive and captured. Left turn to final track of 234. 238, sorry, is set. Now we will intercept the localizer before the 5000 and then we're leaving <coughs> exactly the 5000 on the glide. So, establish on the localizer, in a second also on the glide slope. Altitude is now captured, and now glide slope will be captured in a second. And missed approach, altitude is 5000, so we can keep it there. And as soon as the glide slope is captured, we call the... We call him... 3... 2... 1, glide slope captured. And our Victor Victor Dango Whiskey is fully established, ILS 2.1. Oscar Tango Whiskey, best and dank. Radar services terminate the contact tower on one two zero. That's the most zero eight zero service. Radar service terminated the on over to tower one two zero zero eight zero. Shut down, Oscar Tango Whiskey. Merci, Lifos. Alright, via Mike. Oscar Tango Whiskey. That was Louis. Hello, guys. So we are on the way to Aero. Really excited. It's my first time. Looking forward to see you in uh, Aero. Uh, make sure to say hi and uh, see you there. Goodbye. 35 towers, there was the Oscar Victor Tango Whiskey is fully established on the Allies ILS 24. Oscar Echo Victor Tango Whiskey, 35 tower low, 24036 knots, runway 24, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 24, Oscar Tango Whiskey. Oscar Tango Whiskey, confirm you are here for the exhibition as well. That's correct, but I have to go to the main airport to get fuel first. Oscar Tango Whiskey, Roger. So, distance 4.6, we should have 2610, and we have the runway inside. Thank you very much. Distance 4. What is it? 4.6, we, we had 2610, that looks good. Minimum is 1,620 on QNH 1014. So, power out, speed is checked, get on. One, two, three, green, red light is off. So, I do autopilot off, speed is checked, flaps take off. And speed is checked, flaps landing, target speed 75. Now you hear the DF-50, So, checklist, flaps, landing, gear is down, 3 green, sun visors, keyboard, car flaps also open. Rudder trim is back into the takeoff position, fuel transfer not required, final check completed. So we look good, we are on the needles, following the flight director, approaching the minimums. Minimums, minimums. Continue. And we landed on the marks. Time for arrow. 